Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can connect with the Oracle database from Java JDBC using Eclipse. So we have a simple agenda today. So first we will see how we can uh, like a set up Oracle and SQL developer. Then uh, we are using the simple, uh, we are creating the simple program in order to connect with the uh, Oracle. So we need a Java JDBC jar. So we will see how we can download and uh, configure that jar file into your java program then we will create one java class and we will start making connections and then we will do certain query operations we will insert some data we will read some data from oracle table so for this i am using uh, my blog so blog link is provided in the video description so what are the required tools here so tools will be like uh, we need a java development kit minimum 1.8 and uh, uh, we will need uh, like an Oracle version that is a 19C or greater and SQL developer. Uh, so this is the optional. But so if you want to visualize data via in the Oracle database, so we need a SQL developer. Other than that, uh, we can visualize from command line also. That is a SQL plus tool. Then we need uh, one uh, IDE that is a Eclipse IDE we are using. So in previous session, we have covered like how to install Oracle and how to install SQL developer and how we can use the SQL developer. So you can refer this video if you have not done uh, like an installation of uh, these Oracle and SQL developer. So moving further, so we directly go to hands-on like uh, we will start creating the Java project from the Eclipse. So just go to Eclipse. So this is the Eclipse ID. So we can go to file and uh, go to new and you can go to this project, new project. So we need to create simple Java project. So click on this Java project. So say next. So here it is asking the project name. So give project name as Oracle Java connection. So you can mention the JRE version or Java version. So in our case, it is a Java 1.8. And let's say next and let's say finish. Okay, so our project is created. So now let's uh, go here. So we need a uh, JDBC jar in order to connect with the Oracle database. So in uh, so which version of JDBC we required. So that uh, compatibility matrix is defined here into Oracle site. So, so like suppose Oracle database a 23C JDBC driver and uh, it's free releases. So here it is written as a uh, which JDK Java development kit is uh, supported for which version of uh, JDBC jar. So like uh, if you are having a JDK 19, JDK 21, then you can download this Oracle JDBC 11 dot jar or suppose you if you have a JDK 8 or JDK 11, then you can download this O JDBC 8 dot jar. So as per this, so you can use this for Oracle 23C. Suppose you have a Oracle 19C, in our case it is a 19C. So we need to download this jar like a JDK. So we are using JDK 8 now or JDK 17. Then we have to use this Oracle 8 dot jar. So we need to download this Oracle 10 dot jar. So let's download this jar. Okay. So our OJDBC jar is downloaded. So now moving further. So create a new Java class and start adding the Oracle connection. So we will make the method to establish the connection with the Oracle database. So here is a code which is responsible in order to make the connection from, from Java to Oracle. So create this class first. Okay. So we need a main method. So run the main method. Okay, we need this code. Okay, let's say control shift in order to import the packages so we need this uh, SQL statement so what we are doing here so we are creating one class and inside that we are creating main method and inside that we are uh, writing connection details so we need a connection object which is uh, like a object which uh, need, which able to provide the information describing its table okay so we need the connection object then we need a statement object 
this is used to execute the SQL statement. Now, in order to connect with any database, so we need three things. One is the URL, username, and password. So basically, in order to connect with the Oracle with JDBC, so we need a driver details, or this is the URL details. So we are using thin driver. So JDBC colon Oracle dot thin at the red local host, and this is the port number of Oracle. And this is the by default instance name or database okay SID name you can say so we are using by default instance of Oracle so if you want to create one more database so you can create one other database and you can provide this into here with the database name then we are using default user that is a CSS CSDB and uh, we need a password so in my local so this is the password <coughs> So now in order to uh, create the connection, so we are just instantiating this driver by using driver manager dot gate connection. JDBC driver is a service for managing the set of JDBC driver and uh, connection is a, it is a required to establish the connection to given database. And here we are uh, giving this output uh, input as a URL username and password. So this connection object is created if that is a created then uh, it will uh, print this uh, connected to oracle database and in the cache block suppose uh, if it is not able to connect with the database then uh, we are just printing this uh, sys out where we are printing the what is the state of that sql and what is the error log for that message so into e dot get message and here we are printing the trace of the exception and finally we need to close this connection in order to gc or uh, garbage collector life cycle so we need to close this connection so we are closing this statement and we are closing the connection so now let's see you know before running that let's see our uh, like a setup of oracle so that is running or not so what you have to do so go here and type services dot msc so here you, you will get the services go here for oracle so you can see this uh, oracle service or sale that is running the dependent services are also running so now we will see if uh, we are able to connect with the oracle database or not so right click on this say run as java application okay so after running so it is saying no suitable driver from the for this oracle so that means it is looking for jdbc char so we, which we have not added so what we have to do so we need to add that driver so go to property go to java build path and uh, go to this library and say add external charts and here so you can see this uh, old jdbc jar we have downloaded so select this and say open okay and say apply and close and then again you can run this application okay so you can see we are uh, connected to oracle database like uh, connected to oracle database uh, so this uh, connection object is not known so it is connected so now uh, moving further so we will create one table and uh, we will try to insert some data and we can visualize that data so in order to create the table so this is the statement after the connection so so what we are doing here so we are uh, so as i mentioned before so we need this statement object in order to like execute our query so so we are using statement object with the connection so connection dot create statement this is the required in order to instantiate this uh, statement object and uh, here like uh, we are giving one sql so we are creating table create table employee so we are creating one table as an employee and here like we are adding these fields employee id first name last name and uh, employee id as a primary key so this is a constraint so this uh, emp id is with the data type integer and others are with the var cap that is a string data type we are uh, executing this statement by using execute update sql and this is the sql so that's it so let's see if it is getting created okay so you can see sql table created successfully so now let's verify if uh, sql table is created here type the command tsc that's it so enter so you can see uh, these three tables are these three columns are created along with this not null so whatever we have defined here so now what we will do so we will try to insert some data 
so we have created this uh, table so comment this so we need this statement so statement equal to form dot create statement and like uh, this is the insert query so insert into employee and we we have these three fields like uh, we have this uh, employee id first name and last name so we need this is the employee id this is first name and last name so you need to specify into whatever the string parameters are there we need to specify into single quote and integer into number so insert this uh, data into this table by using statement dot execute update so like this we have uh, three statements so right click on this and say run as java application so we got this inserting record into sql table okay so let's verify now simple query we need select star from employee and say enter so you can see three records uh, we have inserted yeah so here is the data here is a table like uh, these are system uh, tables uh, because we are using uh, default database and uh, here is uh, our table with the three columns so now from the query itself we will try to read the data so select this comment all of this because we are done with the insert operation now read operation so what we are doing here so we are reading this uh, data this query is a select uh, all three columns from employee that's it so we need this result set so import this result set again we need this uh, create statement okay so just we are executing this select command that's it and here like uh, in the while loop so we are just uh, printing the data in uh, readable format so this is the for employee id we result set dot get in result set dot string and result set dot string for last name okay so that's it so right click on this run as java application yeah so you can see the data into readable format so we have uh, these three employees like uh, in the database so you can see these three employees so we can able to visualize via java program also so that's it so we can able to visualize data into oracle that we have inserted from java program so in order to summarize uh, so we have successfully connected with the oracle database from uh, java and jdbc program by using eclipse id and we can able to see data from oracle database table so you can download the source code on the git from the github yeah so that's it so stay tuned for further interesting sessions and thanks a lot for watching